Hello everyone, I hope you're all well. Welcome to our next snippet, which is snippet 13. And what I want you to do is take your four by six inch pitch piece of card and just add a piece of low tack tape around all the edges, just so that you've got, unlike this one here, just so that you've got a little bit of a border. It's very difficult to show. Can you just see I've got a tiny border masked off all the way round, all the way round the card. Don't worry about being too precise. I'm then going to use my gel press. If you haven't got a gel press, I'm using my five by seven. If you haven't got a gel press, then you can just bray the colour on to your card. I'm going to use old paper first, and I'm going to bray on some old paper onto my gel press. I'm then going to have a piece of card on the side just so that I can brayer off the excess colour just on the side. So that was old paper. I'm then going to take cracked pistachio. Now you don't need to think about it too much. Just brayer your colour on, but try not to cover your previous colour up so that you've got some of all the colours showing. I'm then going to take salvaged patina and just add some of the salvage patina here and there and then brayer off the excess onto a piece of card that is four by six inches because we can use that for another background. I'm then going to just spritz my gel press with a little bit of water from my spritzer and I'm then going to place this down onto my card. Now, I'm not going to lift it straight away. I'm just going to let it sit there for a couple of seconds. But it doesn't matter if you lift it too soon, whatever, because it's just going to be a background. So I'm just pressing that down lightly. But don't stress about it too much. I'm then going to lift that up and I've got a very light background. You've got some colour on there that you can use again on your gel press. So make sure that you don't waste that. Just create another background. I'm just wiping the edges of my low tack tape. I'm then going to take salvage patina and an ink blending tool. And I'm just going to add some of that color just around the edges and bring, coming in to the center. So just make sure that you add enough ink to your ink blending tool. Don't scrimp on the amount of ink that you add. And I want you to repeat this process twice on two pieces of card because we'll create another snippet with a similar background. So I'm just going around this area here. So I'm probably not going to go to that top edge let me just lift this up now. The hardest bit is getting the card up off the non-stick craft sheet, to be honest. There we go. And then what I want you to do is when you've inked it, just spritz that again with water. Okay. So obviously you will allow that to dry and allow it to dry naturally. Okay. If I bring one in that I've done before, and what I want you to do is then take, I've used my circle of life, tree of life, circle of life. I've used my tree of life stamp and I've used this tree stamp here. And what I've done is when the background was dry, which is the same background here, I've then stamped with black ink, just offset each side with black ink. So you stamp that twice, one this side and one that side with black ink. And what I'm doing then is you can either use a ball tool, you know, a, a Pergamano ball tool, or I'm using cotton wood buds, you know, uh, cotton buds that are just on a stick and I've wired them together so that I've got three of the cotton buds. You can use a ball tool, it doesn't have to be the cotton buds. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit, I've got 
Dina Wakely Magenta paint. And so that is magenta. And I've got fresco finish paint in white. I've obviously done one tree first because, you know, with the short amount of time we have, I have to do some prep. So what I'm going to do is dip these cotton buds just into the pink. Tip off the excess, dab off the excess. And then I'm just going to dab lightly just around, just around the tree. I've got white paint on my hand. Let me just wipe that. There we go. And you're just going to dab just so that you add a little bit of blossom to your tree. Go in again, dab off the excess. Remember to dab off the excess and remember to dab very lightly because just because I've created a bare tree doesn't mean that we can't have a tree with some blossom on. And what I want you to do is just keep, have you noticed I'm not adding any more paint? I'm just dabbing with the paint that's on there. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to take some of the white, dab off the excess paint and then go in with the white. If you want a little bit more, dab off the excess. Remember to dab off the excess. You want it to look a bit feathery and cloudy. And... So just go over. Just go over. And you can keep adding as much or as little you want. So once it's dry, once the paint's dry, go back in with another layer and tap really lightly. So this area dried. So I'm just going in just with a little bit more, just to, obviously I can't do it on this one because that hasn't dried yet. So what you want to do is when it's dry, go back in and add layers of the colour. Okay, just so that you've got layers of that colour. Right, so then we can remove our low tack tape, which you're going to remove very carefully. And it doesn't matter that some of your ink has bled into the edges, that adds to the effect. So just I'm just pulling the low tack tape sort of away from me, just so that I don't rip that card. There we go but it just sort of gives us a white edge, okay? I'm then going to take my pheasants. So I'm going to take the pheasant and I'm going to use the little pheasants here. And we're going to stamp those pheasants, she says, frantically looking for her ink. So I'm using my black nocturne ink, the same ink that I used to stamp the trees. Give that a good layer of ink. So then you can judge where you're going to add those pheasants, which I'm going to add here, like so. Now you've got that oxide ink just on there. So just remember to allow the ink to sit on the card for a few moments. Just press lightly and just allow it to soak in to that card. Just give that time to soak in. Because you've got that oxide ink on there, you've got that oxide layer. So the card is no longer as porous as it was when it was white. And then you've got your pheasants on there. Just, just beautiful pheasants, absolutely glorious. What I want you to do then, is take a piece of copier paper and just rub over those pheasants just so that you don't smudge them and you can dry them a little bit afterwards. What I'm going to do then is I'm just going to take my miniatures, my miniature stamp set and use this nature text here. And I'm going to use that with grey ink. 
So let's grab some grey ink. So we're going to use the Morning Mist. Morning Mist. Just because the Morning Mist will be a little bit gentler in colour. So I'm just going to add. And I'm not pressing on very hard. I don't want to, it to be too overpowering. Just adding a little bit of that text, just, just to the design. And I'm pressing very lightly. You can leave your low tack tape on if you wish, it's entirely up to you. But I'm just adding a little bit of text here and there. Let's just bring that across a bit. There we go. Just so that you can see, I've just got a little bit of text in there. Now, what I would do is I would allow this to dry. And then what you do is you build up the layer of these. You build up the layer. So you go back in once it's dry and you build up a little bit more of that detail. So you build up a little bit more of the white, but remember to take off the excess. Don't go in with too thick a paint, okay? And you can also, if you want, you can go in and just add a little bit more of the stems of the tree if you want, just so they show up a little bit more. But I, I prefer it a bit gentle and not having the, the branches too dark, just so that you can see that. I'm then going to add a few white splatters. I haven't pumped my pen too much, just so there's a few white splatters. And then just add a little bit of shading below the little pheasants. Let's make sure that pen is clean. Of course it isn't. So just add a little bit of shading just below there. That's better, just so that the look like they are grounded. Let's just bring in the black journal, just so that you can see it on the black page, just so you can see that. And what I would do is just add, when it's all dry, just add some little touches of white just along your pheasant and then I'm just going to add on mine I'm going to add dance in the rain to my to my card which is from power of the word I will add dance in the rain we're running out of time to, to cut that out but let's just grab a piece of card. Have we got any spare? Let's just see what time we've got. Because it just reminds me of spring showers and the blossoms out. I spend most of my time dancing in the rain. So I would cut that out and add that to your card and I'll, I'll probably cut that up but just so that you can see that on your black mat I would also add a little bit of white just going down your tree just so that it's got a little bit of highlight okay just so that's got a little bit of highlight but definitely remember to go back and add some more touches of the white afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed Snippet 13 
and I'll be back shortly with another. See you all soon. Love to all. Bye for now.